Yo gang. Oh me, oh my. Hope you're all doing well. well. I still got the tunage going on. Still got that tunage going. Oh, let me get my... There we go. Cool. Actually, I need to turn down my speaker side of it. Okay, cool. That should be good. That should be good. Okay. So, we're gonna cancel out of that. We're gonna cancel out of that. Exit right there. Let's let's try this. Oh, I probably need uh the borderless widescreen, right? Probably. Um, yes, that's fine. No. Um, I want the other one, so I want the version library. I want the version from right here. Because that, I think, is the only thing that has finite. Yep, that's the one. Okay, cool. So we are going to click on over here. And we'll click play. And then this should be, we should be ready to rock. Come on. There we go. There we go. That should be good. I hope you guys are doing well. What is this, episode five or six? Maybe six of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. I have a feeling this one, we're just going to be doing some level grinding. Because if I remember right, we are right outside of the main hub city. Going to go explore. But we need to level up a little bit. I'm feeling like we need to level up. to the title screen because I think I did continue and it saved at the checkpoint but this time if I load the game I think we'll be exactly where we were load game yes okay so yeah we're at the gate um yeah 8 hours and 44 minutes into the game what is that a uh, about a third of the way through? Fourth of the way through? Maybe? Let's read some data. There we- that's what I was thinking. Okay. There's... that. What does he have? Okay. So, I mean, we have a whole lot of money, so we can just essentially use... We can buy a lot of potions, uh, I have 34. We can buy a lot of potions, and then that's kind of the same as healing. Because I think our big thing was there was no real way to do a, like, sleep at an inn. Maybe there is. But I do remember that we were going to level up a little bit. Because, you know, anytime you get the big open field, it's probably a good idea just to level up. Oh yeah, and the chocobos. Catch some chocobos. There ain't no chocobos. These things are hitting pretty, pretty good though. The 
if I remember right, they don't actually give a lot of XP. I should probably actually try to steal from these things. Um, let's do black magic. There we go. Good work. Good work, BB. The fire. Those bugs hate fire. 89, okay. That's still a lot to level up, though. Hey, but a potion. I'll take it. Um, item. Let's do another potion. Or... Yes, okay. Use all them potions, man, for sure. Okay, equip. Optimize, optimize, optimize. Okay, cool. I love the optimize button because I'm lazy. It's very nice. Abilities. Wait. Oh, so oh, so these are. I only have two left. I like how one of his is protect girls. That's ridiculous. Um, let's see. So. Wait a minute. What? Well, by God. Okay, so I think those are the only two. Alright. Quit bug killer, yes. Undead killer, yes. Dragon killer, yes. Cover. Any of them. I'll just full up. Yeah. There you go. There we go. I can't believe I didn't have any abilities. On there. Huh. We're just gonna run kind of around here. Stick a little over here. Until we can start comfortably one-shotting things, I think. So we might be level grinding for, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, but... It is what it is. I always think doing a little bit now goes a long way later um, in regards to role-playing games and like leveling up. I love that sound effect. So eye drops. Yeah, yeah. I dig it. Fire right there. Zidane's hitting like a Mack truck lately. It's awesome. I dig it. I'll see if what I can steal. Still more eye drops. Okay. Fifty-nine. All right, so VV will level up here before too long. Hey, thank God we equipped Dragon Killer, right? Fire. Let's steal just to see what we get. Dragon. Oh. Okay, an antidote. I'll take it. Oh. Attacking stance. Uh-oh. Fire again. VV! What's up, Petronius? I could do the jump. Hit hard. Oh, there we go. Zidane is a. He is, man. He is a monster. 
knocking, knocking teeth out. Crazy. So I think we're going to level up enough to level up Freya once. We'll hang out around here, level up Freya once, go full heal, do a tent or whatever at the save point. And then we'll make our way. Your initials are VV. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a rad name. I'm not going to lie. Come out with the fire. Is going for a turn. Land. Yeah, that worked well. Good job, team. A few more for Vivi, and Vivi will level up. I, I I dig it. That way, that way's for the main gate. Yep. Here's the main gate. This thing always looks like a mini boss to me. A <laughs> one shot. Bye, son. Bye, Felicia. Sixteen. But I do like the fact that a one-shot fight gets me enough gill to buy two potions. I'll take that bet, you know? I'll do it. I'll do it to it. Oh, that's a mud crab. That is a mud crab. I got an ore. God, it's like Freya just takes forever to level. What's over here? Anything? Weird polygon. Two of them. Okay. So I guess I am going to steal from one. So that's what they have. We're gonna jump. And fire. Alright. This should be a good one for. Oh, Vivi. No. Oh no! Always encounter. No, no, no. Get him. Get him. There we go. Cool. Too close. Don't worry, Vivi. We got you. Ooh, 92. I like it. I dig that. But Vivi, you level up. Cool. And then we are also going to item. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I thought there. I was hoping there was a bigger potion. Um, okay, that's cool. Twenty-one. Range auto. Okay, we got that. 
good equipment. Optimize. 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 Okay. Just making sure on that. Uh, ability. I know VV leveled something up. Okay, so antibody is doing pretty good. Keep it going until Freya levels up again. It's better safe than sorry. See, I was... In Final Fantasy VII, if you just ran, if you, like, clicked on the run button real quick, um, you were able to... You were able to, uh like reverse and not be preemptive strike or like back attack now Frey is the one hitting like a Mack truck on the bugs maybe because we equip that skill that ability these two in one. Hedgehog pie. It doesn't even make any sense. There we go. XP too. Oh, poor Vivi's only level 10. No wonder. Let's see what's in the woods. Oh man, I'm tired. I was grilling all day today. Burgers and uh, corn inside the husk and all kinds of stuff. Just hit for a hundred. Dang it. actually need to do here ah, dang dang oh not too bad though and we got the upper hand so Oh, 
still up. Whoa! That was a huge summon. Summoned a pumpkin head. Good lord. Okay, we timed this out pretty well. Because Freya and Vivi are kind of in a bad way. We're getting a whole bunch of cards, too, so that's good. Here, we're going to enter in here. We're going to try the same thing. Um, okay, how much is a tent? Cool. Yeah, we can buy it though. Here, tent, rest. And then we save. Save. I bet we're going to break the nine-hour mark on today's episode. <laughs> yeah, I would say so, because we just did. So, and we're only, we've only been live 25 minutes. So, yeah, we got about another hour. So we might actually break the 10-hour mark on tonight's episode. Cool. We're good there. We still have seven tenths, right? Um, Bermisia, go through Gizamaluks, Grotto in the Northern Mountains. So that's where we're, that's where we're headed. Northern Mountains. We're still going to level up a little bit. Is by following the roots popping out of the ground, which extend all the way to the grotto. Oh, so I guess that's what the, uh, I'll run over to him right now. So I guess that's what the, that is right there, right? These are the roots, right here. What is that over there? Let's get some good stuff going. Um, let's attack, yes. Jump, yes. Black magic, yes. Fire. Okay. Spear's gonna come down. Yeah, buddy. That's a great move. That is a great move. Received Gil. Look at that. So we got a tent. We used a tent. We bought one. Now we got another one and a potion. I like it. I like that. And we got 500 something gold, which almost pays for another tent. See, so there's that. See that right there? We're going to level up before we... I said we were going to level up. We'll level up before we do anything else. Just to be prepared. You never know what crazy boss fights out of nowhere you're going to run into. That's all I'm saying. get us some good XP right here. We're going to... Oh, what the? It's so weird. Okay. Um, jump. Magic, yes. What's up, Mr. Awesome? to see you, my friend. With them classics. Yes, sir. Big 
plays. Big plays. Yeah, this is like episode number what? Five or six of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play? Doing pretty good. Okay, so this is my name. Leveling up. Okay. VV, you're going to level up next. And then Freya will level you up as well. Freya's is still a little ways off, but... Level 18. I think I'm a little over-leveled, but... Like I said, I'm, I'm fine with that. With JRPGs, I like to overlevel. So these things we can kind of one-shot. The death animations on these characters are great. Like, all of the enemies have a ton of, like, good battle animations, good defeat animations. Levi's leveled up right there. Oh my god. Levi's, uh, Vivi's still so level that Freya will level up, and then, like, two fights later, Vivi will level up again. Poor Vivi. We'll get you up to snuff, BB. We'll get you up to snuff. Here we go. Yes. God dang. These things hit hard, though. And there's always three of them. That's what makes it so tricky. There's one. I try to off the other one. Are gonna come down in a minute. It's gonna be good. Yeah, man. There we go. And Freya's got Bug Killer. That's a very good spell right now. Or a very good passive, I should say. 89. 579 on more of the. What are we doing on life? Ooh! Probably wouldn't hurt to do another tent. Um, what's up, Trey? Trey Dog's like, you better be watching out for Vivi, son. Um, so we have made enough that we can probably buy a tent, even though we've already got seven of them. We're gonna go here. Tent. Rest. <laughs> Secretly just but yeah, it's like off skintastic or whatever that's called. <laughs> I just like pssst. like you're in a campsite. <laughs> or what what are those uh what what are those uh like the candles? The big torch candles that like keep bugs away? I think it's one of those. I keep wanting to say it's like Manila, but it's not Manila. Manila's an envelope. Walking through a clone, except running through bug spray weapon first. <laughs> they spray the air in front of them, yeah, and then like waft it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, see, I'm wanting a chocobo. Tiki torches, yeah! <laughs> so 
this sh this should be pretty. Evie goes first. You stole a potion. How dare you, sir? Sir, I need that potion back. How great will it be if we get a potion as an item from the fight? Aww. Oh, he got to keep it. What's a deceased thing gonna do with a potion? Nothing. I, I, th I guess I don't have the greens for a chocobo. That's why I'm not attracting any of the chocobos. I'm attracting dragons and bugs. No chocobos. So Frey's gonna... Good. You missed me with the poison counter. You missed me with that. Hot take. They get the habit of looting everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you see a barrel, go check the barrel. You guys, for real. I I am I'm super close to reinstalling Skyrim. But I worry. Because Skyrim, you know, back what, four years ago when we streamed full time? Skyrim was like the only game that I played. Because there are so many people that watch me play Skyrim. I'm like, do I want to play Skyrim again? Like, ever again? Yeah, exactly. Like... I think having it uninstalled is safer. Because now we have all the other projects going on. Oh, and... Um... I know some, some of you guys saw it, but like the two games that I got recently, which are other enormous RPGs. So yeah, we probably just don't have time for Skyrim. Sorry Skyrim. Keep on the new consoles, uh, but I miss mods, yeah. So I think that Xbox One... Doesn't Xbox One let you do mods? I'm forever trapped, right? Exactly. It's just with the mods, it's, it's a whole different game. It really is. Oh, that's right. The Bethesda approved ones only. Huh. Yeah, no Thomas the Train Engine or Macho Man Randy Savage. None of that. Oh, we're getting close to Freya level now. Up. About 400 more XP. Wait, how are we doing on life and stuff? Not bad. Okay. We'll keep it going. We'll keep trucking along. Yeah, it seems like with the mods for consoles, it'd be way clunkier. Ugh. have really strong armor. That's what I'm noticing. Ray's gonna do jump in a minute. Frey didn't even have to come back down. Oh no! <laughs> he jumped away. And a potion. Nice, I'll take it. B 
but um, since they cast fire, do they all hit for the same? Yeah, I've noticed that... Yeah, I can... That's a good point. I'll check during the fight. Because I'm, I'm very much a creature of habit. If I find the thing that works okay... Um, I just know that Vivi's fire was hitting for more than Vivi's physical attack, which is not very much at all. Um, we'll see. I wonder if we'll have more bugs this time. Dragon time. Oh, I didn't even have time to check on this one. Turn-based games are great. They get a bad rap. Um, big fan of turn-based. In fact, let me... Let me uh, click over here real quick. Look at that. I'll show you guys since you're here. Yeah, these are the two games I picked up recently. One's Tokyo Mirage Sessions. The Shin Megami Tensai Fire Emblem game for the Wii U. Really great turn-based RPG. And then, oh mama. Ooh, mama. That Persona 5 action. Got that as well. Got really good deals on those. Really good deals. Chat back up. There we go. Finally finished Pillars of Eternity so I can start part two. I need to get back to Pillars of Eternity. What I played I liked, but I only got like 10 hours in or so. Um... I thought the story was interesting, but it was kind of generic, so it didn't really capture me the same way like Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale did. But to be fair, Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale have a bunch of actual books leading up to them, so it makes sense. Um, attack, attack, Thunder! Let's try Thunder. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles? Ooh, yeah! For wh which one? They made quite a few, or they made like two or three of them, right? They made the GameCube original, then they did one for the DS, I want to say. Okay, so that hit for about 120. Oh, Pillars. Pillars is good. If you're a fan of the old school style... Like, you know, Planescape Torment. I mean, the writing's not as good as something like Planescape, but... There you go. Oh, okay, so Fire and Thunder hit for about the same. Um, but no, Pillars is okay. The gameplay's fine. The one I need to check out, because everyone just swears by it, is uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. I have the first one, and I like it. But people are saying that Div Divinity Original Sin 2 is the best computer role-playing game ever made. Like, I've heard people that I think, I take them pretty seriously in what they think about RPGs. They're like, it's the best computer role-playing game ever. And I'm like, I kind of don't believe you. But it might be. Who knows? I haven't played it, and they have. So, but apparently it's incredible. The writing's amazing. It's fun. Yeah, see, that's what I've heard. I heard it's way better, and I was like, I like the first one okay. I didn't know there was that much to improve upon on the first one. Like, the first one was fine. Um, but yeah, people are legit saying Original Sin 2 is, like, the game. They're like, oh, if your favorite was Baldur's Gate 2, play Original Sin 2 because it's better. What? How is this possible? Vivi. Oh, you're in a trance. Look at that. Vivi looking like a baller. No, don't pumpkin head Vivi. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Oh, it was Freya. I mean, don't do it to anyone, but Vivi was like, oh, critical hit for 700. Damn. So 
Frey is almost leveled up. And then after that, Vivi's going to level up again. Okay. We are going to run... You know what? I probably should item potion at least one potion. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh, made it. I was worried we'd get in another fight before I got back here. We're going to buy another tent, even though we have seven of them. see what that one thing is that we saw in the middle of this field here. Let's see what this is. Q's Marsh. Oh, hey, here's the the Moogles that have been part of the training stuff. Yeah, teach me some stuff. Let's control Berserk. Let's see. Stop. Poison sleep. Okay, freeze. Gets KO'd if physically attacked. Ooh. Petrify Venom Virus Silence. Ooh, I, the virus one's crazy. You can't gain XP or AP after a battle because growth is stunted. You... Zombie trouble. Out of life. Oh, hey, that's cool. Yeah. Magic is reflecting back to the caster. Doom is a timer, right? Nothing. Gosh, bro. You sure know a lot. Items? Anything? Oh, that's funny. Can't really see anything. Oh! Hello. Hungry. Frogs. Hungry. Here you go. Me? There you go. Yeah, we can... Age between 70 and 90. Do you want this frog? Yes.
Many, many foods. More than just a frog. Are there yummier frogs outside? <laughs> Anywhere with food, good. Yeah, sure. Hmm. This, why not? Great. So now we got another character. The quail guy. Yeah, the tongues are a little weird. No, oh, Vivi's gonna figure out more family stuff. can answer. Poor Vivi. Just want to learn some stuff about, you know, where you're coming from. Nothing wrong with that. Any cool hidden items? Anything neat? This might go back to the Moogles. Yep. Let's see what's up through the middle. Up through the middle, same thing, same place. Oh, hey, a golden frog. Sure. Sure for a little while. Did you catch a frog? How do you do it? You wait till the exclamation point? Oh. Got one. Keep it. Tricky. It's a frogs, man. We got an ore. We got an ore out of the deal. That's fine. I done catching. Alright. So we'll roll out. I, I, what level is... Oh, level 15. Okay. Vivi, you're still a little behind. 
That's okay, but first, let's do this. Um, equip. We're gonna do high tide. Oh, well, of course. Let's go to equip. There you go. Optimize. Look at that. Great. And ability. Status. Okay, so good on abilities. Good on some gear. We'll go fight a little bit. It'll be nice to have a fourth, fourth character in the in the mix. You know. Okay. So so we need to follow the routes, correct? And go north is what they said. I'm excited to start uh, Persona 5. I love Persona 3 and 4. Like, a lot. I think I might actually like Persona 3 better. Which I know might be sacrilege, but, uh... That game is very good. Persona 3 is real good. 4 is great, too, I mean... Oh, but no Sony consoles yet. Yeah, Persona 1 and 2 are very difficult. Uh, 3 and 4 aren't so bad. But 1 and 2 are extremely difficult games. But all of the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games are very difficult. Like, I have Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. I think I actually have them both sealed. I got them again sealed. I played them when they first came out back in the day, like 2002, 2001, 2002. Um, I, I found a sealed copy of both, part one and part two. Trance. Miss. Uh, here we go. I love that giant fork. It looks like a spork that you would get at like KFC. Ooh, Frey almost. Frey almost. this. Yep. Yeah, right here. Oh no. If I should here do the whole let's do this. We will do a tent rest. Cute little tent in the field. Amazing. Save. Save. Here we go. 
now let's see what we're gonna get into. Alice, please protect. Okay. Ring the bell. There you go. Also, do we need to get a bell for each door? Oh no! Jesters. Oh, big fight. Kill that guy with a bell. Why is he ringing? Ring a ding dinging. So we're going to attack, we're going to jump, we're going to eat. We're going to... Oh, let's do thunder. I know can eat. Oh no! 88. Thunder. 150. Hey, not bad. Nice. Good work for you. Seven. Ooh, leveling up. And Vivi's not far behind. Probably in the next fight. And then it's going to be a little bit. <laughs> because we're in the thousands of XP needed. Yay, I'll take a potion. They're running away. Now the random fights in here are going to be tricky, I think. Or if there are random fights, maybe not. Maybe the enemies are just out there on the field. I'm just going to do a full-on attack across the board. Vivi's taking the brunt of it though, that's sad. The other black mages are just trying to kill Vivi. Speaking of, I don't know if you guys saw the latest Wes Unboxes uh, Video Games Monthly box, but I got a sealed copy of Chrono Cross. Ooh, buddy. Feeling good about that one. Another one of those pinnacle, you know, PS1 uh, RPGs. Okay, so now... Door.
terrifying. Laugh. Okay. Jump. Um, attack. Attack magic. Thunder. Yes. Entice. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. No. BV, don't. Oh. BV. Don't fall for it. We have no blue magic yet. yourself rude okay well it wasn't for as much as I hit for so at least we're making some progress bingo okay Only 51 XP? Hmm. Alright, what we do need to do though. For sure. Item potion. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. I wish I had some high potions. That would that would be helpful right now. Getting some some gear, you know. Well, he's trapped. Oh no. The Coupon Nut. The power of the Coupon Nut. <laughs> so weird. What a crazy couple. But hey. Look at that. We get another bell. Oh, snap. So what door do we want to use it on? Crazy dungeon. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I like you. If you like Koopo Nuts like I do, well played. Oh, cool. Safe spot. I like it. Alright, alright. Alright, we'll use a tent. Awesome. Okay, so save, save. I kind of was not expecting this to be a save point. Ooh, we're almost at, yeah, about 15 minutes until that 10 hour mark. So that double digit save file. Lognet, uh. Yeah, that was me. Got the high score. It's dangerous outside. Oh, 
snap a doodle. Really? We're just like chilling right here, huh? What the fuck? Bro. Grand Dragon Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Dude, we're getting wrecked. <laughs> that dragon is no joke, dude. Yo. So, I'm kind of actually excited about that. Because we found a hidden boss. I'll have to remember that hidden boss. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it's the dragon from Shrek. <laughs> it is. He made his uh, main appearance here. That's right. God dang. I was not expecting that at all. But that's cool. So we found the hidden place to fight a crazy thing way later in the game. That's really cool. So I will say, um, E3, what my original plan was for E3 was to take those days off of work, and that way we could all watch E3 together. I would do live streams, and we could discuss the news as it comes out. But I have a three-day conference on all three days of E3. Surprise, surprise. Very upset. I was pissed. When I saw my schedule, I was like, what? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna load the game. Uh, but I will say we may be able to do a live stream of the Sony conference on the 12th because it happens at night. Um, yeah, so we may be able to do that. Poopo nuts, it's fine. That's wild. Okay, so that. Uh, there's gonna... Be, oh, okay, so... Oh, a holy bell. I'm Koopo for Koopo Nuts. I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. Um, I will say, I have it on very good authority from somebody who has a preliminary schedule from E3 that there are going to be a few game announcements that will make very specific people very happy. Um... One of those game announcements will make me very happy. And I'll give you a hint. It's a revival of a game I have done on West vs. Backlog Retro. That's all I can say. But I have it on legit confirmed like insider scoop authority that that is going to happen. And it makes me very, very happy. Just to see what it's going to be. Like, if it's going to be in the same style as the games that I love so much. But we'll see. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of more Wii U ports announced for the Switch. Um, as well stuff on my last year that was just announcements. Yeah, and here's the thing. This year's a little different. Oh, snap. Freya died, son. Um, oh, no. Freya was jumping. Never mind. Ha. Freya didn't die. Silly Billy. Um, yeah, because they came out with the Xbox One X and then the PS4 Pro. So they're going to be putting some games on there that really start pushing those systems more, more enhanced versions. Um, you can expect... 
without going into specifics, you can expect more games to be added to both online services, more to come out about Nintendo's online service, and yeah, I don't think there's going to be big blow away announcement type things, like that doesn't seem like what this year is, this year is more of a keep the weather going the way it is, like hey, we're riding the momentum. We're going to ride it back into, you know, 2020 whenever we announce our new systems. Um, I mean, my guess, and I don't have any insider scoop or anything on that, but I do I do think they're going to announce the new systems in 2020 and release them in 2021. That's my thought. Uh, but some of the games are going to surprise people. Because whenever I saw the news and my friend let me know what they are, I was like, oh, really? Interesting. So we got a holy bell bell. I guess that's one that doesn't that doesn't shatter. Oh it might yeah, actually did shatter. Okay, there's Freya. So we made it to the right place. Oh please don't let that be the dragon. That dude. So Bethesda is going to have a strong conference. I can tell you Bethesda is going to do one announcement where you're going to be like, "What the fuck?" Like you're, <laughs> you're going to be like, "Why in the world?" But it is what it is. Black magic. We're going to do some thunder because you're a water thing. So hopefully, hopefully you're weak against that. Punch you. Crash. Ooh. Hitting hard, too. Dang, and it keeps going up and up. France, look at this. Looking like a knight in shining armor. Yeah. Eh, 147. That, nah, it's fine. But I was hoping for more. One. Let's do that. Please, let's get. Item, potion. Potion yourself. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay, Thunder was better. Silent voice. No, don't do it to VV. No. Ah, damn it. Now I can't use spells. Focus. Baby. Oh wait, don't I have a uh oh, man. kind of a difficult fight. Um is it a remedy? BV? Is that the right one? I wish it would tell me which one cures silence. Is it Echo Drops? It does it? Ooh. Trance hitting like a tank, man. Um, yes, yes. Focus. Is it Remedy? Yes! Okay, good. Black magic, thunder, thunder, thunder. 
No, don't. Oh. Don't do it. Potion. Freya, yes. Potion for residing. 50. I just need to survive those other... Ooh, um, those other hits. The crashes or whatever they're called. Item, um, potion, Freya, you need it to um, attack. Oh, shit, man. Get it. Get it, Vivi. Oh, good hit, but, like, dang. How much HP does this thing freaking have? Okay, Zidane, Zidane. Somebody get Zidane. He's our heaviest hitter. Potion. Zidane. Oh. Oh, come on. We can do it. We can do it as a team. Let's do it as a team. No, you healed yourself again, which is fine, I guess. Oh, oh, oh thank God. Thank God. Oh. What are you doing? Okay. Well, like, don't be trying no funny business. I know I won the fight when all the HP bars go away. No one died. Cool. He gained zero XP, of course. It's so weird. You gain zero XP from boss fights. Very weird. He's in danger. Steiner. Up, Steiner. This is the Grand Citadel style. Once we cross this gate, we're in Alexandrian territory. <laughs> I wonder who could possibly be in this bag. Hold it right there. Live and work here. That's great. But it's still broken. Rules and regulations, you know. Dagger's gonna come out. Karate kick some people. So where are you from? Man, did you see a pair like that on your way here? Not as really tight. Like princess Garnett, the most beautiful princess ever to grace Alexandria Castle. Such a beautiful daughter. Huh? What is this? rotten thing. I saw pickles. Oh, <laughs> they've been giving Steiner hell about those pickles forever. about pickles. I mean, she's like covered in pickles, right? Yeah, I want to hear more about Anthem. Apparently, uh... I'm like this. So, her. <laughs> what 
I meant to say. Now that we're here, we must do things we came to do to help the ones we love. I gotta encourage him. Thanks. Hello, young man. Chief Engineer of Bowden Gate. <laughs> kill him. Don't kill. <laughs> so I still have to talk to this guy. What do I do? Clear. Great. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. Take a break for it. Oh. I like that it, <laughs> it makes me not do it, <laughs> or it won't let me go further. Move. It has to reach Southgate Summit. I'm leaving it right here. Pick it up after I leave. Come closer, but you're carrying those stinky pickles. Nice. Awesome. Thanks for that gate pass, bro. She was in that bag with all them stinky pickles. Gave me a terrible headache. Steiner's so goofy. He's a real good character, though. Alright. Cable car will take us to the summit. Sarah Steiner. Let's be on there. Manage in without Zidane's help. Right. Get goods. Let's go to Potion. This is a safe point. See Magnet. You have no mail. To Nazna. Okay. So we will take that to Nazna. Thanks, Koopo. Tent. Um, don't rest. We'll save. And this might be where we call it for today. Just got in control of, you know, the princess and Steiner. Let's see, what is... Oh my god, Steiner's at level 7. <laughs> I was like, oh, what are they at? Like level 14, 15? Level 7. 
Um, so that means next episode we're going to do a whole bunch of leveling up with Steiner and Dagger. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's crazy. Oh me, oh my. But, oh, wait. So, that has been the new episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. Hope you guys are digging it. We passed the 10-hour mark. That's cool. 10-hour mark. You can see all the old past episodes um, on a Twitch, actually, on here. There's a whole playlist, a collection, I think they call them. Uh, you can watch them back to back to back to back. I might even later this week do a rerun of all of them together. So, I mean, it's going to be like a 10-hour marathon. Um, but yeah, super excited over the past few days. Got both of these, got Tokyo Mirage Sessions, got Persona 5. Um, but yeah, let me go grab that, uh, sealed. Sealed Chrono Cross. I know this is the fan base that would appreciate it the most. Look at that, man. The factory seal on it, too. I think I kind of need to open it, though, because one of the discs, if you can hear it, jumbling around a little bit but that they sent they sent this to me dude look at that seal on there that is from the factory man greatest hits edition chrono cross beautiful but yeah i need to do a full youtube video of my japanese rpg collection because that's the thing i kind of collect now um all the way back to regular nintendo all the way up to all this Persona 5 stuff. Uh, but that's my time. Hope you guys dug it. Hey, this week, the new Kamidohobo.com is going online. And all of this, well, probably not for the Final Fantasy IX episodes. This layout for right here, the webcam and stuff, is going to stay the same. But for the regular Twitch stream, everything's going to look different. I want to have animated borders on the stuff. It looks really slick and fancy and pretty crazy. Uh, but I'm excited about that. Yeah, newcomedhobo.com is coming up. Has some cool stuff. Doing last tweaks. Getting domain name server set up. So, all that. But that's my time. Hope you guys had fun. Definitely watch the back episodes of the Let's Play. Uh, like I said, I'll probably be doing a 10-hour marathon or so. Um, the rerun marathon sometime this week. My work schedule has changed. So, um, now I'm at work for a lot longer during the day. Uh, so we'll still we'll still get some streams in, but they may be kind of low energy going forward, um, just because I will be have worked like twelve hour days, come home, stream for a few hours, then eat, and then shower, and then go to bed, and just repeat that ad nauseum. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll have some fun. We'll do some action games or something next time. Who knows? That's it for me. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks so much for hanging out. Love you guys. So great to chat with you. Uh, hope to do it again very soon. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Till then, peace.